Savannah and I'm a drama instructor at Able Arts Work. Today we're working on improv. We're going to learn the beginnings of a great warm-up game to get our imagination and improvisation skills going. Let's get started. So what is improvisation? Improv, for short. To improvise is to create and perform, whether it be music, drama, or verse, spontaneously and without preparation. In other words, we're making stuff up on the spot. Being able to use our imaginations to act out scenes or characters without prepping is super hard, super fun, and super important. Drama is unpredictable by nature. Even if you're not planning to improv, something might go wrong during a drama activity or performance where you will need to make something up. So we are here to practice that skill. Now today we're going to work on a game called Props. It's a great warm-up game, especially if you're new to drama and improv. Now before we start going over this game, I want to teach you the concept of yes and. Now the concept of yes and is one of, if not the most important rule of improv activities. And basically, it just means don't say no. Take whatever the audience, your game master, or scene partner is giving to you, even if it sounds, looks, or seems wild and unusual, and go with it. Don't block the scene from going where it's gonna go. For example, if I was your scene partner, and in a scene I said, wow, look at all of those miniature dragons flying around. Instead of replying with, miniature dragons don't exist, what are you talking about? You might reply with, oh wow, and they're all the different colors of the rainbow. Or, I'm allergic to miniature dragons. Anything that matches your scene partner's intentions and objectives. I want you to keep the rule of yes and in mind as we begin to work on this game. Now that we've covered that important concept, let's get started on our activity. Props. Now we won't actually be playing the game in this video, but we're going to gather our materials, learn the rules, and set up so we're ready to play together next time. Now before we go any further, I want you to pause this video and go find the most peculiar, strange, unusual objects in your house. Let's aim to each collect three objects. And if you can't find anything weird or strange, just grab something that might be interesting. These props, which means objects that we use in the scene, are going to play a huge part of our game. All right, we're back. Let's see what we found. For me, I got a very large metal ladle. Thought it looked interesting. A family-sized box of Raisin Bran. And this metal pyramid decoration. Now that we have our props, let's go over the rules. Now this game can be played independently with one partner or with any number of people. Just make sure to split up in even teams with two or three players per team. Now the object of the game is to take a prop and turn it into multiple different things very quickly. In other words, this activity will be a series of rapid fire alternating scenes where each team or each player interprets their prop in a different way. So if I choose to play with this metal pyramid, I need to come up with different items or objects that I could pretend that this would be. If I'm playing with two teams of two, they will alternate going back and forth, transforming and changing their object each time it's their turn. If I'm playing with five teams, the teams take turns one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. If I'm playing by myself, I might do a scene, take 10 seconds to think of another uh, object I could turn my prop into and do another scene. For example, if I choose to play with my soup ladle, in one scene, it might be a fencing sword. 
and to demonstrate that, I would change my body as if I was in a fencing position and use it and go ha, 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 ha. When it was my turn again, I would need to come up with something else. For example, this ladle could also be a 60s style microphone. To do run, 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 to do run, run. The benefit of working with a scene partner is to practice that technique of yes and. If I'm your partner and I turn this box of Raisin Brand into a drum, You might start singing a song or clapping along to demonstrate that we're doing a scene in which we're a band. And it's that simple. You're almost ready to play. Thank you so much for joining me. To review what we did today, we learned what improv and improvisation means, the concept of yes and in the context of improvisation, and the basic rules to the activity props. Next time I see you, we'll explore our prop together with our senses, practice coming up with different short scenes and that, how that might look like, so you are fully prepared to play this game with your friends, family, or just yourself. Be sure to look out for the next video in this series and check out all the other wonderful videos on Able Artsworks virtual learning channel. I'll see you next time.